Hey everybody, Corey down here after a pretty long break of recovering from another sickness, but we seem to be good now. I think I wanted to continue this uh, top 5 underrated card series and I wanted to leave, or I left off at Mage, so I'm going to get right to that then. First card here I have is Clear Instructions. It lets you discover a skill and place it on top of your deck and the cost is reduced by 1. There's a lot of good Mage skills in the game. It's a very fun card to use. But the version I want to highlight here is the blue version up at the top right because it lets you discover a skill and place it in your hand and the cost is reduced by one so it's like getting a free skill in your hand and it's usually a good mana card. It can also be like a group in Viz which can also get you out of a bind but there's a lot of things that it can just be pretty good. Alright next card here I have is Book of Nightmares most notably the yellow version. It'll shuffle a nightmare card into your deck or three nightmare cards into your hand if you're running the blue version which is good for combo evelyn or anybody that does a on hit effects but the one i want to highlight here is the targeting other heroes version which is the yellow where you can give somebody a repeatable spell that repeats up to four times and it does two types of damage and two different debuffs and if somebody has something that transforms their damage it can be get pretty nasty so definitely look into keeping that one or trying that out in your decks the next card I hear I have is Dark Ritual. I know a lot of people don't like self-damaging things, but these are are pretty underrated. It's a uh, transmission, but it costs less. It's the same rarity, and then even the blue version is a better transmission. Gives you three extra mana. Definitely love this on Obelisk Challenge as well to feed mana to the well one person slower than a mage or give it to Andrin or the scout on the next turn. So definitely consider Dark Ritual sometime. Next card here I have is Prismatic Field. It gives everybody Insulate and the yellow version will also give them Powerful as well. But the main version that I think is underrated is not many people run Insulate and it's a really good buff especially for Acts 2 and 3 since most bosses do Fire Cold Ear Lightning damage. And in a lot of cases a lot of the tough enemies like the don't worry about that window sound. That was bad windows. You never make that sound. <laughs> no. <laughs> but yeah, the uh, a lot of the scary enemies like the seahorses and lightning collars, the harpies. This will help a lot against the damage they're dealing out to you. And the final card here I have is Flash Freeze. I think this card gets underrated, even though it kind of looks bad that you're giving an uh, enemy monster reinforce 24 block and 24 shield. But skipping an enemy's turn is pretty amazing. It's even kind of useful on the last fight in the game because you can uh, use it on his summon add to get an extra turn to burn him down before he does his annoying uh, card manipulation stuff. So definitely consider that if you are having trouble in the last fight. And then I think that's all I have to say about Flash Freeze. I never used the anyone version, but it's also good on really good on elites. Like if you're facing uh, Monty or some other thing with a very very annoying effect that affects your whole party definitely consider casting this on the enemy elite it's also good against anything that uh cast i think is what it's what's it called amnesia or hypnotize where it makes puts a card in everybody's deck where you have to discard when you draw it it really sucks so consider freezing that thing all right that'll be it for today Goodbye. Remember to brush your teeth, all that. Yeah.